this dude had the boneless braids. Like, <laughs> why does his hair look like that? He looks like he's bald. Like he got. Uh, uh, now she definitely looks like Mariah Carey. Oh, no, no, <laughs> There's a joke in the original comics that's like. Guys, on Black History Month? Black History Month? For real? This is what it's about? Look, anyway. Guys, the Boondocks pilot has just been released. Now, I don't, how do I, how do I, how do I start this? Okay, first of all, okay, if you don't know what the Boondocks is, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's the best cartoon show of all time, all right? At least in my opinion, next to Chowder, okay? I love this show. It has taught me a lot of things, and it has a huge staple in black culture, okay? You'll see so many people talking about it with quotes. People say it's funny all the freaking time. It is a very timeless show, um, and it has spawned many memes and stuff like that. And uh, it got me, it's a show that got me thinking a lot about life and everything like that. Uh, I had a legit, like, reawakening when I watched it one time. And it's it's so, it's a very culturally appropriate show. It's just, I love the boondocks, okay? I just love it. And the pilot has been released. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a backstory, all right? The channel, the Boondocks Music, actually uploaded in one day in, I guess, like 2015, 2016, 2017, uploaded a small clip of the Boondocks pilot. There apparently was a, a pilot, an unaired pilot for the Boondocks that has never seen the light of day. At that point, you know, we knew nothing about it, and there was only like a 20 second clip of it. And apparently, it came from uh, Carl Jones, which, if you guys know, is the producer for the Boondocks. Now, they posted this on the Twitter, but if you go to that link, you'll actually, you can't find it anymore, and unfortunately, but that was all that we had of this aforementioned, like, I guess, pilot or whatever. But fast forward to about just a couple of days ago to now, you know, uh, apparently it actually randomly got leaked online. Now, so everybody basically doesn't know, uh, basically, like, where this actual, like, pilot came from for some reason. If you do a little bit of digging, though, you will know exactly where this pilot came from. I know exactly who probably did it. I am telling you right now. I just don't want to mention her name because I don't know if we're going to get in trouble by Sony or whatever. I just don't want that to happen to them. But with that being said, um, we're going to be watching the pilot because of the fact that Boondocks, like I said, is my favorite cartoon of all time. And it has taught me a lot. And the only thing is, is it, it has an anime art style. So, you know, it kind of fits in with this channel. You know, it's got the anime America, whatever they people call it. Um, I want to like really just watch this with you guys, like kind of like give you guys my commentary because as a big fan, I do know of a lot of the changes that actually happened in this. Uh, I've watched the Boondocks like a whole lot, so even some lines and some scenes were either recycled or changed or just everything like that. There are so many different changes that I have to just go over with it. And of course, because of the fact that it's Black History Month and for some reason I always have something to do with the Boondocks, I swear last year too. I was watching it at that time too um but <laughs> with that being said uh let's just start this video and yes i have a band-aid on my face because just, just stop just stop wondering okay just mind your own business focus on yourself <laughs> yeah this was just uploaded randomly to the internet archive one day we're gonna watch and it right now, now back to mo quisha andre me and mo quisha was raising for a folk sandwich and got stuck See, right here, right, besides Moquisha, just sounded like Queen Latifah or something like that. Uh, these designs look a lot more anime-esque. Uh, like I said before, the, su the series does have an anime art style, but it was a little bit more, like, toned down. It wasn't, like, crazy anime. But just looking at the hairstyles for these characters right here, um, it, it does look a lot more, look a lot more elaborate, like a more zany anime. Um, by the way, I am going to be pausing this video. This is the point of this reaction slash analysis. If you guys want to watch the original, you know, link in the description, go find it or whatever. Um, but if you have a problem with me pausing the video, then that's your problem. Uh, I don't care. Go watch it yourself. This is for people who probably watched this already and want to have maybe a little more insight or just want to watch it with me just because I'm cool. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> See, something about it. 
So, okay, right here. This is Riley. <laughs> this is Riley and Huey, right? First of all, there are a lot of differences here. For one thing, uh, the, the style itself is actually more akin to the comic book itself. If you guys don't know, the Boondocks actually originally was a comic strip. It wasn't just a TV show. Um, but, yeah, this is a lot more akin to the comics. I can definitely tell because of the fact that Huey's afro isn't, like, sticking out, like, this way. Because it usually is at an angle. It's just sticking straight up. And the fact that, like, the eyes and how they look, it's very much more like how the comics were. It does look a little similar to how the actual series looks, but this definitely does look... <laughs> I can't... All right, we got to move on to the topic, okay? Riley. In the original comics... He had just like a, a low fro or he had just like a regular buzz cut. In this series, he had him braided into cornrows. But before that, apparently, this dude had the boneless braids. Like, <laughs> why does his hair look like that? He looks like he's bald. Like, he got the bald braids, dude. Like, what is going on? His head must be really like sore like it really must be sore right now there's no way someone's gonna braid my hair like that and i'm not gonna like be screaming and crying like every single day i can't believe they did that to him why did they make him look like that apparently aaron magruder says as they hate how they drew it too so yeah I, how do you <laughs> it's so boneless it's so skinny why <laughs> there's little worms out of his head yeah, so, like, as you can see, like, the eyes and stuff like that, they're also a lot more brown. Uh, it's, it's not as, like, black as it was before. And also, I remember uh, one episode of the Boondocks called the Freemans, like, light-skinned. I never saw the Freemans, like, like Huey, Riley, and Robert. I never saw them as light-skinned. This definitely does look like have that light-skinned energy. Looks like they, like, Huey's looking right right here. Looks like he's about to start rizzing me up or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Joke. Oh, hold on, oh thank you. How Lord. can you stomach this buffoonery? Cause it's funny. <laughs> Rally with the shits. <laughs> Moquisha. Mm. What's your next favorite show? Next week's Moquisha. Here, read a book, dummy. Read. Damn. You can't read and get hoes. Show me one person who reads and gets hoes. I'm looking at one who don't read and don't got no hoes. Damn. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the writing is not look the writing has never changed i swear to freak um also yes uh, huey does have a completely different voice um you know the um riley's still voiced by regina king of course uh granddad's still voiced by john witherspoon which you know rest in peace but the thing about it is is apparently uh uh huey has like a different voice it's not regina king i've seen somewhat some people say apparently it's alicia keys I don't know if this is Alicia Keys. If anyone can confirm whose voice this is and put in the comment section down below, because I really like to know whose voice this was. I don't know why they had a different voice. I don't know. Maybe they were just trying to have another star because John Witherspoon, he's John Witherspoon, uh, Regina King, and uh, both of these characters are from Friday. Was Alicia Keys in Friday? I don't know. I don't. I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> Player. Well, yeah. Don't make Riley Freeman have to slap the black off of you. Okay, so the other thing about this is is that the animation looks a lot more zany than uh, the original like style. The anime, the, the, the actual final version of the Boondocks actually had a more stiffer animation. This one has a little bit more like squash and stretch a little bit. You'll see a little bit of what I'm talking about later. But uh, this is a little bit more like a, a zany, cartoony style. It definitely does look more anime. Uh, but it, it's not like the original series. thing about it is I actually kind of like it a little bit more how it's a little bit more zany than the uh, original series because if you've ever watched the original Boondocks, uh, you will know that at, for, for damn sure season one had some a lot of recycled animation. It really did. If you really look at some of those episodes, it had a whole lot of recycled animation. So I can appreciate animation like this. Also, a completely different theme song. It's not... Damn, I don't know why I just did all that. But yes, it's not... A, I am the stone that the Buddha refused. I am the visual, the inspiration, the made lady seen the blues, and the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark, so that you can know you're left from your right. It's not that one, okay? 
Uh, this definitely sounds like a beta one. I have no idea what that song is. Maybe we can find it if I can actually like someone like looks for it or whatever. But Ready for you two it fits, seconds. but it's Come definitely not as good as the final version. Bro. Boondocks is so timeless that even a pilot that wasn't even aired, no one has seen this. Why is this so relevant? He literally just he literally just just stepped on the Air Force Ones, man. How is this still relevant? And you know, that's still disrespectful. I mean, that's my white shoes right there. You step on my shoes, hey. You know what I'm saying? But like, I love this show so much. Yo, Look at hold that. up, man. You just stepped on my Air Force Ones. And their Air Force no, Ones. Like, come on. You pee the bed and suck your thumb. You are not a thug. Come on, man. Are you really that cliche that you'll fight me for stepping on your Nikes? Yeah, I really am that. Whatever it is you said. Did not know. Let me try. See what I'm talking about? When he slammed into the floor, it's it's a lot. It's like he has like, like that squash. Like, that's what I'm talking about. This fool started a fight. This fool jumped all over my Air Force One. Shut up. See, and, and like the animation looks a lot more like Avatar, too. Like, I, I don't know what it is. It looks a little bit more av like Avatar. It doesn't look like right. it. Get out of my house before the bus comes. Can you drive us? Yeah, something could happen to us out there, Granddad. Well, I'm trying to do the right thing for you boys by spending your inheritance on a big house in the suburbs. And that, that came Y'all from the safe. original when episode, too. It's God's will. I don't know about Besides, that part, though. I forgot. Your little friend Jazz would be at the bus stop. What about her? He like her, but he's scurred. I'm not scurred. Don't be scurred. You go out there and lay down your game, player. See, now that's a very interesting part of this uh, pilot. Apparently, it's implied that Huey actually likes Jasmine. This is actually very interesting because the original comic series never kind of stated that Huey liked Jasmine. They never even teased it. Uh, even the original uh, like TV series didn't have that either. That's not to say that there definitely wasn't like a little sweetness going on between Huey and Jasmine they were definitely like always best friends there's even an episode that kind of focuses on that whole entire idea but the whole entire thing about him just straight up saying or people around like trying to ship Huey with Jasmine that's that's kind of crazy I, I I don't know Third R. Kelly's new hit that's never happened and now on our Friday double play here's another one by R. Kelly called R. Kelly oh, wow we're still on this R. Kelly Jasmine. stuff Kids make fun of me. See, and this is, this, this, this is, this part's weird. But this is Tom, this is Jasmine. You know, Jasmine looks the same. You know, J Tom looks like he's extra white. Like, he straight up looks like Barack Obama. Well, that kind of thing happens to everybody, honey. I remember kids would call me. It's something about the nose, or... man. I don't know what it is about the nose. It's, it's like, it's just like the way it's shaped. It looks a little bit more like. I don't know. I can't. Nerd. Uh -huh. Or Oreo double stuff. Fruity boy. Pansy uh -huh. pants or bitch ass or. <laughs> okay. Tom with the shits. Now, this is crazy. Sarah looks completely different. This is not. I don't even know if Sarah was in the. Um, I don't even know if Sarah was actually in the comments itself, but she does not look the same. Uh, she. I think she has the same voice, though. <laughs> Yeah. I have to go catch the bus now. When the characters look to the side, it definitely looks like Aaron McGruder drew it or something like that. This part is straight up Time to get like. Is that a PlayStation 2? Bro, no way. And we had to get the censored version? <laughs> Well, good, because I don't got to do nothing to this video, then. This was originally in the TV special. I mean, in the original series, too. But this was, like, the first scene, though, as opposed to it being, like, three scenes later. I don't know what this song is. But, um... Yeah, the, this pilot's also kind of weird. It's not, like, in a, a traditional episode style. It kind of just takes place like in different points i guess because it's a pilot they're trying to show like the producers how the show's like kind of theme and stuff is gonna go so you know we're just getting some characters here there and there and then just 
I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's, it's so weird. Now this part kind of was in the pilot that I was like the, 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 the thing I was talking about before how, um, it was shown in like a very small clip earlier, uh, a couple years ago. Also, I found this part kind of cute. <laughs> She's like literally jumping like, <laughs> you ever did, have y'all ever did that? Like y'all ever live in like apartments or someone's houses and stuff like that. And so like, sometimes y'all can't, um, they can't come to the door, you know, their mom's going to say something. And then you try to like, you know, knock on the door. Like, are you jumping in like every single time? I don't know why. That's so relatable. I remember doing that a lot. Yeah. I, um, I've got half a sandwich left for lunch if you're hungry. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, is there pork in it? No, it's turkey. <laughs> hey, man, Huey. W who eat more? Seriously, man. Um, as a person who doesn't eat pork, this is the reason why. I Like, Huey. That's a whole other video. Let's just say that Huey's ideologies and perspective on things uh, have definitely influenced me. Let's just say this: Huey was my favorite character in the show. Okay, a lot of people would say Robert, Uncle Ruckus, Granddad. Oh, no, Granddad is Robert, but um, R Riley, like all these other characters. I'm just looking like. Huey was definitely like the most intriguing. I always wanted more like episodes focused on him. Um, but I guess the writers thought he was boring or whatever. But season one definitely was more attributed to him. This is literally the clip. I told them you didn't start the fight, but they wouldn't. It's okay. No, no good, good deed goes, goes unpunished. unpunished. Thank you. Uh, uh. Now she definitely looks oh, like Mariah Carey. No, you gotta... <laughs> now she does. There's a joke in the original comics that's like basically like when they're trying to like say like, oh yeah, Jasmine looks like Mariah Carey. I think she kind of did. She looks like a, <laughs> she definitely looks like a mixed breed. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Sandwich from that hoe. Shut up. Let me get up. Get off. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. I wouldn't hit myself. Get off. That was so crazy. I don't know. Now, this part was incredibly wild to me. You already know what this house is if you ever watched the series, but watch this. Y'all are going to be really surprised looking at this guy. You know what to do with these boys, Ruckus? All they do is fight. It's like living in downtown Baghdad. Look at this, bro. Look at Uncle Ruckus. He is a self-hating black man. But look at him. He looks normal. Why does he look so normal? Like, look at him. He he doesn't have the big one eye. He's like he's just balding and he's got some a white beard and hair and stuff like that. And I don't remember how he looked in the original comics, but I do know that he didn't look like this. He looks so normal now. <laughs> he's still Uncle Ruckus though, but it's it's Let's weird seeing him like call have normal Negro proportions and like stuff. Them two balls. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me look at those. Let me see if I can see. Uh, Paul Anka. Paul Anka. Why is there so much Paul Anka? Who is that? Slave in a box. Damn. my own black ass kids no more. I got all these beautiful, beautiful children right here in Wood See, this right right here, he's got like the eye thing going on, but his eyes are usually the same. And uh, apparently, Uncle Ruck has had kids. God help us, you know? <laughs> these kids love their Uncle Ruck. What the? Hey, somebody will get their ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Timmy. You lost your lucky ball again. My bad. Now throw the ball back, bitch. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mr. Timmy show got a good throwing arm. Now that is an example of a nice boy with potential. Looks to me like an example of a white boy who needs his ad whipped. Shoot. And I thought my boys were bad. I'm going home. Oh, I just realized something too. I didn't even realize this before. And the uh, the the animation, the lip syncing, is more like a traditional American cartoon. This show leans so much into anime thing, where they literally did like the anime mouth flapping with that. Like they did that. 
in the original show. I guess in this, they actually tried to do lip syncing, which is interesting. An example of a nice boy with potential. Looks to me like an example of a white boy who needs his ad whipped. Shoot. And I thought my boys were bad. I'm Just realized that. <laughs> Another home run, Mr. Timmy. Screw you. My boy. Damn. You, you suck. Shut up. You ain't got no game. Shut up. Boy, I'm schooling you like the United Negro College Fund. And they're playing boy, PlayStation 2. I don't remember the graphics looking that great, though. Seem like getting up inside Huey's behind in this video game is something we can all Pause. enjoy as a family. Now get the hell to bed. The Spice Channel descrambled itself right around now. Bro, stop. And, uh, yeah. Somebody please tell me what the actual, um, the thing was there, and of course that the, the actual theme to that, but like obviously, obviously, there's nothing after that. There's just this Sony Pictures and a uh, television thing. But yeah, that was pretty much it. I mean, honestly, that was the Boondocks pilot. Uh, what can I really say? Like I said before, it is definitely an early version of the Boondocks, uh, and it's very interesting to look back at this because what the the show would eventually become isn't too far off. But there are some different, different, definite differences with how like uh, the storyline people are portrayed, and how the characters look, and the boneless cornrows. I can't. Why did they make him look like that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, guys, I think a Boondocks kind of review series is probably due on this channel. I think I definitely should look at the series itself and give my honest to god thoughts. Do a couple cam exams on the series because. Uh, it definitely is one of my favorite shows of all time, and there's a lot of things that it's taught me. I think it's gotten me out of a whole lot of like bad situations and confusing situations. You know, Aaron Magruder, you know, has done a lot for that, and it's the reason why I so hate the fact that it really looked like it was just on the horizon, guys. There was supposed to be a Boondocks like revival, like season five or whatever. And it was supposed to look so good, and I just loved it because I didn't like the fact that season four, I, I hate, I hate season four. Anything after, like, season three is just trash to me, all right? And I wanted the show to come back. I'm not really, like, losing sleep over it because I'm not the type of person that says, like, oh, you need to have things go on for a long time or whatever. And like I said, Boondocks is a timeless series that I could just watch in, like, a whole lot of years after it's aired uh, to still enjoy it but still i was really looking forward to that so this might be a semblance of all that we can get uh for un unless like maybe some fan stuff go comes in but i really want to see that i really wanted to see that aaron mcgruder touch maybe we'll be able to see it in some way shape or form maybe we'll get a pilot of that too but this is all we got so like i said boondocks videos should probably be coming soon i don't know when i'll be able to make them but uh let's just say i got a lot to say about well, like I said, my favorite cartoon of all time. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been great. Happy Black History Month. Remember, it's short another year. We should definitely be more focused on what uh, makes black people amazing. And I'm not just talking about other people with other races. If you're white, Asian, or, or Hispanic or any of that stuff, we, us black people, should look into our own history so we can know more about ourselves, to be more sure of ourselves. And that's just real. Let's be honest, guys. There's a whole lot of stuff that we don't know about, and I'm still learning every day. But with that being said, guys, if you guys like this video, like this video. And if you guys like what you saw, you want to see more uh, subscribers to the channel. We just recently hit 2,000 subscribers. Don't tell anybody, but we did. Uh, but anyway, uh, with that being said, uh, all my social media links will be in the description down below. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night, everyone, for watching us. And as always, hasta. I'm black, y'all.